Hey guys! It is very sure. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my sound dampening efforts in attempts to make an anechoic chamber. <laughs> of course, I didn't exactly achieve making it completely soundproof. As I hear, people can only take living 45 minutes in a soundproof anechoic chamber. <laughs> but I said that because many of you have known how loud my place is, my little studio, and I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted a nicer, quieter environment so I can film videos for you in a quieter place. Accepting that I will never be able to make it fully soundproof but at least we got rid of some echoes and trust me everything I've done has made a difference <laughs> so first let me show you the difference in sound quality from in here and as I walk out of this room and you can hear the ambiance in here. It's definitely much, much different than when I enter and close my door. Which I've also tried to seal. <laughs> So, if you'd like to find out what I did, stay tuned! So one of the very first things I did was my ceiling. I ended up getting two sets of these acoustic panels. They're noise, redu noise reduction coefficient is 0.9 which I hear is really good. I wanted to have a nice pattern. So I was up on this ladder and did this all by myself. Except for these two pieces, which were above my bed. So I had to get help with that. I noticed that my ceilings were the most barren. And noise bounces off solid surfaces, so I thought the best thing to do was to put some panels on my ceiling. After I did that, I did notice the very next morning that things weren't echoing as much. The sound of the buses and trains and people and cars, they weren't muted, but they were Definitely dampened, so it encouraged me to create more. So, this leads us to the next soundproofing adventure. Here we have my sister calls them Greek pillars. These are base traps. As you can see, they come in little pieces. So there's, if you can count the lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're about 12 by 12. And they fully cover the corners. And these ones, I had to cut some of the bottom parts because it wouldn't fit above the rod. <laughs> Over there, I did a bit of a hack job, but over here, I did a good job. So definitely, these ones I will always keep above the curtain rods, no matter where I go. Just so you can't see exactly what I did. <laughs> so I have them here, 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 and... I have them back here. My green screen is covering, is being covered here. So, I wanted it to be positioned in a way that would um, be best for how I film. When I film, I typically face the window. So I had these installed in this manner. Now, all the extra pieces I cut, I wanted to get creative with it. Here's an example of a piece that I had sliced off with a... Mm, a bread knife, because <laughs> I had nothing else, <laughs> in order for me to fit that piece there. And then I also had these small bits from the pieces that I sliced off on the edges of these ones behind the curtain rods. And I wanted to use them, so I put them on also these corners. Because a lot of low frequency sounds get trapped and bounce off the corners. So I put those there. This was quite a job for me. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed it, but it was a lot of work, <laughs> to say the least. I still think it's very rewarding. So I have some soundproofing here that I place on my windows. And it's basically just styrofoam with some foam attached to it. And on the edges I duct tape and added foam inside. It's not as effective, but that's okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen that look before! <laughs> that was adorable! There's some of the pianos. These for my balls. Here, as well as right here. I also have, which I wanted to show you guys, this. I ordered a giant painting that are basically acoustic panels, so why don't we open it up and we'll take a look. I have been waiting a long time to open this because I wanted to do a video for you guys. So, I'm going to head and open it so you can see.
trash. This is what it'll look like. It's supposed to be six paintings to make this one beautiful noise, sound, absorbing panels. And this is huge. And I really can't wait because so far everything I've done seems to have been working very well. Not just for video purposes, but for my own peace of mind. It can get really loud where I live. And of course, I would also love some peace and quiet. So, this will be good. And this will help make me feel more rest assured when I make videos for you guys that the sound quality will also be really nice and at the same time still improve on the aesthetics of my room because you guys know how I love decorating so mm -hmm. all right so this is a Basically, this square is two by two, and there are six of them. Now, I have very limited wall space, but we'll see how we end up doing this. They're actually very light. We have these. We have three of these. And we have three of these. These are like made of, I think, fiberglass and polyester fibers. What I appreciate about this is it smells pretty natural. Like it doesn't off gas or give off a very bad um, chemical smell. So this is what they look like. They're rather large, so we're going to have to figure out a really good place for them. And I'm very excited to take you on that process with me. <laughs> I went ahead and sped up this process for you guys because it's basically just me placing the panels on the wall. And seeing where they would look best. I do this quite often. Here I'm just checking to see if I want to replace what I have all together or just place the pieces on the side and adjunct to what I already have. And here I am checking on the other side of my wall got six pieces total so I'd really like to place them in a great area while still showcasing my wonderful paintings and check 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 
always checking. I really like to lay down and take a look at my ceiling from here. I love this view. <laughs> this little pattern that we created. That was a fun project. So you can see the base traps. And I really notice a difference in here. I love it. So after much consideration, which was basically me just sitting on the ground, looking at my walls, <laughs> I decided that I'm going to be doing four on that wall. And I'm going to be taking what I have down and moving them. And I'm going to put two on this wall with a painting on each side. I really like how this sounds. This is the piece that I cut from the corner. And... I really like how it feels. It's just like your hands just sink into it. They said it's specially cut acoustic foam. These were actually supposed to be white when I ordered them, but they got mailed in clear packaging so they turned yellow from the light. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of testing and looking and moving and all of that, so I'm going to start my project. And then the next video, which is my room tour video, I'm going to show you how everything turned out while showing you the rest of my room. <laughs> And it's going to be exciting because I'm actually going to be doing another minimizing. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some of my unused products and such. And just seeing what kind of clothes and things that I'll be donating and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you so much. And I really like how the audio turned out in this room. So, if you want to see the rest of my soundproofing and the rest of my room, I will do an actual room tour for you. Thank you for watching! And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye! If you like this video,